Beige Red vs. Blue de debuted April 1st, 2003, uh, and we were able to produce now, we're in our 10th season, so we've been able to produce what's the equivalent of nine features in nine years with a team of about four to five people total for animation. Uh, granted, the fidelity is not something like Pixar, but it's perfect for the internet. Uh, people who are online tend to be also people who play video games, so they immediately embrace the aesthetic, and it's one of those, those things that just took off. Um, in 2003, there weren't a lot of web series online. In fact, we kind of like tried to come up with a name to call what we were doing, so we called it a web series. At one point, we just about calling it like a sit.com or something stupid like that, <laughs> some punny name. But uh, so, so we put the first episode online. Uh, we had about 3,000 viewers show up because that was the readership of the website that it went up on. Then it got linked on sites like Slashdot and Fark and Penny Arcade, which are popular gaming sites or news aggregators, kind of like Fark's kind of like the Revit of today. Um, and we went from 3,000 views on the first one to about 250,000 on the second one. And by the time we had the third one up, we were at 750,000 views. Uh, then by the time we got to the sixth episode, we were hitting a pretty steady one million views per episode. And so we just kind of like, the popularity of this thing just went, like, it was like falling up a cliff, basically. Uh, it just went nuts. And so, we then were able to fund this ourselves. Uh, we struck a deal with Microsoft where we were able to sell DVDs of the product. Um, let me see if I can see some of that. Uh, just today, we announced uh, we just hit 1 billion views on YouTube. Now, YouTube started in 2006, and we've been doing this since 2003. We actually have a focus at Rooster Teeth where we're crazy. We actually have a website, which is not something that people do much these days. Uh, but we do try to pe draw people back to our website. We have a very robust community there, some great uh, community technology that we built uh, back in 2005. But for YouTube, we, were, we just hit 1 billion total views on YouTube. Uh, last year, 2011, we were the eighth most viewed channel on YouTube, not including all the music channels, which get, you know, a video there can get 350 million views, just so many repeated plays. YouTube is pretty much like the new MTV at this point. Uh, we have 1.7 million subscribers on there. And then uh, we sold over 1 million DVDs of Red vs. Blue. And there's a really crazy stat that somebody let us know is that um, Red vs. Blue is the longest running web series on the net. But we just found out that in this 10th season that we're going into, um, we're kind of pulling all the stops. We got Elijah Wood is doing a voice. Uh, we have some other guest voices as well that we haven't announced. But this season, when we, crack, we pass a certain threshold of episodes, when we get to episode 213, Red vs. Blue will be the longest running sci-fi show in American history. Doctor Who has like a three decade lead on us, but uh, <laughs> that's the fun thing about media. You can always qualify your records as much as you want to. Yeah, but in America, so like, you know, it's kind of the history of, of sci fi in America where it's like people love the show, it's very popular, but not popular enough, and it gets canceled after one or two seasons. Also, it tends to be more expensive to make. But um, so I think sci fi has a great home on the web for people making it. And then we're still hitting uh, about one million views on average uh, per video. The, the, the Show looks a lot different now than it used to back in the day. It used to be just raw video from Halo, but now we have, like I said, an advanced team of animators. We have a full mocap studio, and they do tons of work. 